Little Orange Plum. Hello everyone and welcome to Little Orange Plum. So today we are back with a little subreddit called r slash pointlessly gendered. So this is for all of the times where we need to separate our society down gender lines for no apparent reason. So first off we have this stupid comic, I have no words. I wonder if I will have any words. Okay, so it's Christmas, we have a nativity scene. What else could possibly go wrong this year? Christmas 2020. It's a girl! I mean, I realise that there's a lot of gendered terminology in the Bible that specifically refers to Jesus as the son of God, but like what con- like he literally talks a lot and has magic, you know, you know, all of his miracle stuff, that, that's not a male thing, that's a Jesus thing, like, it's not, like, you're not gonna be doing miracles anytime soon, my dude. It's, it's not a gendered thing and everything else is literally just like walking around and talking. You always go on about how women gossip too much. What? What? I'm, I'm curious. What exactly could a girl Jesus not do? What about the story changes apart from the gender pronouns if Jesus is a girl? I, I'm genuinely fascinated because he was a single bachelor for his pretty much his whole life. So it's not like you're gonna, like, there's no mention of him, like, being with, like, anyone based on gender. So it's not like you have to even swap around, like, being a mom or a dad because he wasn't parent. Descended from a carpenter, presumed to be a carpenter. When did he actually do carpentry? I'm curious. He, he mainly seemed to talk to people and, like, get given money and things for talking well. No, it doesn't seem like there are any jobs that you can even argue are traditionally male and therefore he wouldn't have been able to do because it's, like freaking bullshit gender no there's nothing jesus did that women couldn't do except for magic which again is a jesus thing it's not a male thing it's a jesus thing like there are witches in harry potter too it's it's doable we can work around that next we have now we're doing poke now we're doing pokemon again this is serious childhood nostalgia First the Jesus stuff, and now the Pokemon stuff. Was casually strolling the internet when found this. Some of these designs look decent, but giving them eyelashes and weird hair just to make them more feminine is ridiculous. We got some Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna go through. We got like a... What? Why is girl Eevee bald? I'm curious. Why is girl Eevee bald? Her, she's literally just given, been given one eyelash and I'm getting it. I would just like to point out in the real version of... I feel like... These are not official designs, the girl ones. We have the original actual Pokemon, who can either be boys or girls, or these fake designs. Why Why are you trying to insist that the, um, was it Umbri, Umbrio, I think? Um, um, something. Why are you trying to insist that girls can't have an ear erection? How do you know I can't get it up? I might be able to get my ears up. You don't know that. <laughs> Why? We got fur as a scarf, we got literally no logic to this, you just randomly put a white thing on its head for no reason, made it purple. To be fair, there are a lot of Pokemon where the gender difference is literally just a different colour, and gave it a stupid frilly hat, and I don't, I don't get it. And like, why did her- she doesn't have ears. The original version has ears, you don't have ears, what is this? What is this? This is supposedly a gender difference. I, it looks like this one is repping the trans pride. And the top one is like, um, is, is a, I want to say bisexual pride? I don't know, but I don't feel like it's a gender difference. Those are pride flights. No, there is no purpose to these designs. As I say, in the actual game slash TV show, most of these Pokemon, either their gender was never mentioned and was never relevant, or it was literally, they were basically the same. Occasionally got a color difference, like they're the, no, for a second there I was going to say Minim and Ma, whatever you call it. The, the magnet ones that are opposite to each other. Um, but those are like, um, it's been a while since my childhood. I'm forgetting the names. Um, but yeah, even those, it's like you can have girl ones and boy ones. They just happen to have like a negative polarity and positive polarity thing. So yeah, gender not important for Pokemon. Why are you gendering things that don't need genders and that genuinely have specifically been announced in world as not being different based on not having vastly different gendered appearances? I don't, I don't. I don't get it, and I don't- so I just, I, I'm especially not a fan of the have the original designs which we presume are male even though some of these Pokemon were specifically mentioned as being female and also it was specifically mentioned that they would look the same whether they were boys or girls um, and then just draw a bad, shittier, alternative version that is female. That's 
That's not cool. Not cool. Some of those Pokemon were girls already. Anyway, next we have bad rapper equals man. We got the the Hallmark card advert the, the the freaking shopping center advertisement of what your presents could like and um, look like versus what your presents will actually look like when you wrap them at home. Also known as what my presents will actually look like versus the too much pressure that society has put on me regarding this sort of thing as a woman. Like, I can't live up to that expectation. I'm not Martha Stewart. Um, I don't have enough free time to redo this three times and use like rulers and like freaking exacto knives just to get it all perfect and like curl all the damn ribbons and shit. No, it's too much. You're getting a present, be happy with that. Lower your expectations for my wrapping. Seriously. Anyway, next we have gendered bathrooms. Because we cannot possibly have a non-gendered one bathroom. I mean, I've worked in multiple places where we had one bathroom and it was fine and it did not cause any problems. Not saying that, because um, obviously the argument is always there's going to be sexual assault if men go in the women's bathroom. There was sexual assault at my workplace. It happened in public in front of everyone, not in the bathroom. Not once did it happen in the bathroom because it's not an obvious choice, apparently, to go and sexually assault people. Even when you are given the opportunity to go in the same bathroom as women, still gonna do it on camera in front of people and then cry victim when you get called out on it. So, um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure why we need to push the gendering bathrooms. And of course we have. It's not just that we have to gender them, we now have to put annoying, offensive jokes on the doors. We have, ladies, smile, you're losing weight. Really? That, that's bulimia. You're literally pushing bulimia. The, the notion that you should purge everything from your body, by, um, either through like pooping or vomiting, because you know it's still bulimia when you take laxatives. Um, and then of course when the guy says, do, do an epic shit, because bulimia is just for, for girls. Men never have eating disorders. It's not extremely common for male athletes to be bulimic. And obviously you need reassuring that your shit is epic. Okay, sure. I just... <laughs> and again, we're having a poopy day. I don't know why it's Christmas and poop. Like, what is... Wh what is this? Why do I get the feeling that they're trying to market bulimia to us as a Christmas special? Because you might eat too much. Maybe you should try bulimia. It, it's feeling like two very things, specific things are trending right now. Because these were not all on this subreddit like a month ago. I checked. No, no, no. It's a Christmas special. Christmas and laxatives. Next we have <laughs> women's gentle laxative. Yeah, no. Not happy about this. Because again, the idea that it's a woman's laxative is normalizing women using laxatives a lot more than men. Because I doubt... Because it's, it's saying the, it implies... Ex the joke is funny. The title is, this implies the existence of men's hardcore laxatives, which would be funny if that existed, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be medicinal laxatives and women's laxatives, because that's the only marketing I've ever seen. I've never seen just for men's laxatives. It's always women's laxatives and medicinal laxatives. Laxatives that you're using for the reason you should be using laxatives and laxatives that you're using for bulimia. Not down for this institutionalized bulimia. Just let me enjoy my Christmas. Stop it. I'm get, I'm getting a little bit annoyed by this, but um. So instead, we're gonna go, we're gonna do one more, and I'm gonna go for something traditional. It's traditional, pointlessly gendered. We have words being gendered clearly wasn't enough. Now we need to gender the individual letters. We have every every boy's alphabet, every girl's alphabet. Is it actually different? Are they actually learning a different alphabet to us girls? Or are you just pushing gender stereotypes on children from, from a very early age? Because I feel like the fact that the guy is getting to do like building stuff, you know how it's implied that architecture and construction are more masculine um, stuff, but like writing and colouring, like what the girl is doing, is more feminine. And why do I get the feeling that you're going to do the A is for... Like, we're gonna get B is for babies for girls, and B is for building for boys. Like, I know where you're going with this. We gotta push them stereotypes on them kids when they are young. Otherwise, how will they learn to segregate themselves down stupid, pointless lines if we don't teach them that? It's almost like they don't need to be segregated and shoved into little boxes at such young ages. Also, can we just talk about how the person was actually sh so <laughs> searching for Shakespeare for toddlers? Um, I mean, I feel like Shakespeare... But I'm, I'm, it's, it's better than the gender norms, but it's, that's a lot of pressure for a child. 
like Shakespeare for toddlers. I don't think they're gonna read through that. I don't know. Um, the the Amazon would definitely rather push gender norms on your kid before teaching them required reading for school. Like that's that's before you learn about one of the, one of the most famous writers of all time, before you get exposed to great literature. Um, let's push gender norms. Although I do I appreciate how they want to teach the alphabet before teaching Shakespeare. That makes sense to me. Really. Especially when you get people who try to argue that it's not this insidious, like the gender stuff doesn't get pushed. Obviously, obviously liberals who want to not gender stuff so much are clearly pushing that on children more, way more than them pushing this. And yet, Shakespeare for toddlers, top results. Every boy's alphabet, every girl's alphabet. What does that have to do with Shakespeare? I mean, good job of um, lowering your expectations for toddlers. But still, like, th there is definitely something being pushed on toddlers and it's not a lack of gender conformity. That is where I'm going to end for this video. This has been r slash pointlessly gendered. Always fun. Please follow. And if you have any pointlessly gendered stuff that you see, please share it with the group. We want to see it. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, or like our YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.